Okay. Nice there. Okay, so we are live. Let's yeah. see if it works. It's working. Yes, yes. it's working. So here we are, Bamblona's Cluster. Yes. So welcome to t Tuesdays with Fran. I'm Fran. And I am Elo. And today we're going to be visiting Pamplona's Gothic Cloister, which is an amazing construction inside of Pamplona's Six Cathedral. Can, Can you, you hear the bells? bells? Yes. And water. And yes, water. I like that. Okay. So, hola Janis. Hola Leslie. Good morning from Louisiana. Good morning. She's wearing see. glasses. She yes. can see today. Yes. <laughs> Finally. So as we were saying today, hi Susie, we are visiting Pamplona's Gothic Cloister, which yes. is a master of the Gothic art. I think it's one of the biggest that we are still having in, in Europe. In Europe. Yes. And especially it is one of the best preserved cloisters yes, in Europe because here we barely suffered the French, the French Revolution. Yes. So, Hi Susanna, hi Susie, good afternoon. And okay. take a look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cloister. So first of all, what on earth is a cloister? Okay, so let's, you have to think that right now we are inside of Pamplona's cathedral. And a cathedral, we tend to think it's just the temple, the church. Yes, just the church. But it's much more than that because we had uh, a, huge, you had the bishop and we had an order of priests, by the way, here they were Augustines, okay, living in here, and they live in here, so they needed, like in a house, a dining room, a kitchen, a dormitory, uh, all of these different rooms where they would live. The thing is that the cloister was the space that connected all of these rooms. Later on, as Vamos, el pasillo. it is yeah, like the yes. corridor, like the foyer. Okay, so as later in years uh, they use this, as you can see, it is perfectly covered. They used it for praying as well. Okay, so but the real use of this was just for connecting all the different rooms in the cathedral. Okay, so that is what they were meant to be. In our cloister, hi Mary, uh, we have a lot of beautiful treasures, okay? Hi Janet. One of them, it is this beautiful epiphany, okay? Yeah. It is the adoration of the three wise men to uh, the Holy Mary. So we have Melchior, to Gaspar. Holy Mary, sorry, to Jesus Christ. And Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, sorry, Christ, yes. of course. You're right. <laughs> it's Jesus Christ. They went to see Jesus yes. Christ <laughs> with the Madonna, with the Mama. And so we have Melchior, Gaspar, and Balthasar. Yes. yes. So it's a beautiful Gothic portrait of that. It was oro, gold, gold, incense, and mirror. Mirror. Okay, I'm not going to try. Give it a try. Mirror. <laughs> no, I'm not going to try. No. <laughs> she doesn't want to learn. No. <laughs> mirror. It's not that difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, as the, we had a huge congregation here in the cathedral. Also, people died, as you can imagine, and all the way here, we are walking on the tombs. Okay. You know, when I am doing a tour here in the cathedral, I try to walk always. <laughs> on the white part? Yes. <laughs> well, 1992, we saw the restoration yes, yes. of the I cathedral, know, they are empty and the bodies and have been removed. <laughs> okay? But it was super interesting when they were, when they were removing the bodies, it was great because we could see the different funeral traditions yes. of different time periods. Okay? So that's, that was pretty cool. Okay, so this entrance, this, uh, this door, would bring us to the chapter house, to the gathering place of the bishop with his community. Okay? Uh, this chapel is the Barbathan Chapel, constructed by a bishop called Barbathan. The thing is that here is where the, all the community will decide, used to decide, what Navarre, religiously speaking, would do. Right? So that's what it was all about. This was like the living room, like the place. gathering place. More than the living room, yes. So take a look at that incredible window. Unfortunately, we have a very ugly lamp. 
Yeah. Hola, that Anna. one is not for the 13th that, century. That is no? not for the 14th <laughs> century, no, no. I will have an amazing vault, English style. Okay. And the thing is, I always think that this is really uh, tetrico. Uh, gothic, I mean, gothic, but it's, it's uh, dark. Tetric, as I love this chapel. Is, no? Well, here we have, as I said, this vault is an English style. And in the English tradition, we have what is called the green man, which is the representation of nature. And here in the bracket, we have a green man. Right? As you see, it's a face. I don't know if you can see it because the light is not very good. And the hair, it's all leaves. Okay? It's a representation of nature, which I think is very, very beautiful. Yes, we have one of these, another one in the in Olite. In Olite, yes, yes, we have this. Well, the reason why we have this big England's influence is because here, uh, one of the queens of Navarre, Verangel of Navarre, got married to Richard Lionheart. Okay, so we have always had this very close connection to to the British Isles and everything. Okay, so besides for the trading, because they were very close to us, so we have this connection, very strong connection with them. Yes. Okay, so it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. I would say. Yeah, because if you don't know that thing, it could be a little bit strange. Yeah, that we yes, have because such a strong connection with it. Uh, this cloister uh, started the co its construction in the year uh, 1220, 1250s, more or less. And here, what we see is that it took a long time to construct. Take a look at this arch. Okay, this arch are the first stages of the Gothic. It's very simple, it's very basic, let's put it that way. And as the construction got better, or the art of Gothic improved, look at the arches all the way at the front. They're much more complex, they're much more beautiful, okay? They're more delicate, it takes more time to think about the weight, where it goes, where it doesn't go. So, really the art of construction changed drastically, okay? What else? Uh, here we have some capitals that are decorated. Probably the most important one, let's say it's this one. Let's see if we can make a zoom into it. Oh, Laglin! Let's see if you can see it. It is the construction of the Babel Tower, but what you can see it is how a cathedral was constructed. Okay, so you see all the rams, all the people carrying all the stones. Okay, so it's a beautiful representation of how a temple, this temple, was constructed. Right? I think it's super beautiful having it. And it's really would conserve that, yes. part, that part, yes. Yeah. So, let us show you also, all around here we have all of these magnificent um, funeral pieces. Here we had a funeral place for a bishop. Okay. As we told you, under Anitas we have funeral places, graveyards, of more popular people, more normal people. Yeah. Okay. And perhaps we will have here some pilgrims too. Yes, pilgrims from the perhaps, Camino would yes. have been buried in here. We and don't know the names because we only have the numbers. Uh, and here, what we have is the funeral place of a bishop, much more important. Okay? And the kings and the queens, they were buried inside yes. of the cathedral. Okay? So, we have seen the entrance to the um, chapter house or to the getting together place. This door is an amazing wooden I love door. That door yes. It's incredible. It was the entrance to the dormitories yes. of the of the priests. <laughs> We're gonna go a little bit inside, uh, but before we go there, I want to show you this incredible store. Uh, sorry, door. Okay. Here we have what it's called the dorm the death of the Holy Mary. But okay. in fact, she never. We, we yes. don't say she died, okay? Yes. We, we say that she fell asleep. But yeah. when this was done, it was called the Golden Legend, a Leyenda Dorada, 
which is the one that tells us the end of the life of the Holy Mary. So let me tell you about it. We start all of these doors from the bottom, on, from the left, all the way going to the right and higher and higher. So we're going to start here on the left. On the first stage, here on the left, oh, where is it? That one. That is the Holy Mary, the Annunciation to the Holy Mary. Not the Annunciation of you're pregnant, you're going to be the mother of God. The angel is telling the Holy Mary, you are going to die. Prepare yourself. Right? So on the second stage, here, this one, whoops, sorry, the Holy Mary tells the people that is around her, you know, I'm going to die, it's okay. I need to call the 12 apostles that are spreading the word of Jesus everywhere around. Let's pray so they come. The next stage, this one, you see the Holy Mary sitting down and in front of her, inside of this cloud, we have St. John. John, he's always been represented shaved, as he was a young one, he was the preferred one, he was like, they had a very special connection. He's the first one that comes and hears that Holy Mother is going to die. Then Holy Mother, she's relaxed, she's okay, she knows she's going to die. So what is she going to do? She's going to prepare her death. Here, let's say that she goes shopping, she goes to buy the clothes that she's going to wear to be welcome in heaven. So she's not afraid of death. On the next stage, we see John calling the rest of the apostles. All of you, please come because Holy Mary is dying. On the second level, all the way on the left, you see also again the cloud with all the men. Those are the, the rest of the apostles coming in. Then Holy Mary sits down here. Oops, sorry, let me take the finger out. Yeah. Hey, focus. Where? Okay, there we go. She sits down to tell all of us that she is going to die. And she's okay. She knows that, and this is what Catholicism is all about, we believe that the death is not the end. There's something more. So she's not afraid. And she's trying to let us know that it's okay. On the next stage, Holy Mary gets dressed. She gets ready to die. We go one step higher, and there she is, sleeping. It's the dormition of the Holy Mary. She's dead. The rest of the apostles, the uh, rest of the good people, they're paying respects to her. But this is, as I said, not the end. Because on the stage higher, she is welcomed in heaven by her son, and she's crowned. So it's a beautiful representation of the death of the Holy Mary, all right? So it's, I love this door because it tells us about the spirituality of what Christianity is all about, yes. all right? So we should not be afraid of death. The thing is that, so serious. <laughs> it, it, was, it was sounded really serious, yes? <laughs> Once in a while, I, didn't I get want serious. To, to say anything. You were, you were so quiet. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry for that, but you were so serious okay. talking and say, "Okay, I'm going so, to listen everything." Let's go back uh, into the door because we told you that this is the dormitory. Okay. Do you know the name of this door? The precious door. Yeah, and do you know why? 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 You don't know why? Yes, you know. I know, but you tell. <laughs> In English, no. In English, okay. Spanish. You say it in Spanish. <laughs> no. Okay. We said that the monks use the cloister as a corridor and while they go from one place to another they used to go praying and when they got to this door they pray a salmon mm -hmm. yes, yes that took this piece precious um i don't know by preciosa. her yes but it was like they say this word preciosa and because of that this is the precious door Besides that, it's precious. Yes. It was because they used to say the yes, word precious yes, yes. as they would cross but into no, the dormitories. Nothing to it is nothing to, nothing to do with yes. how precious it is. So the thing is that now we do not have the dormitories anymore because it was quite uncomfortable to stay <laughs> and, in here. And really cold, cold humid. Yes. So the monks. It's terrible to stay inside yes. now. It is controlled, humidity, well, and everything. But, but nonetheless, it's really cold to stay here. Oh, here you see how beautiful Gothic uh, arches we have. As I told you, in 1992, we saw the restoration of the cathedral. And 
when the uh, graveyard was removed, the Roman city of Pamplona appeared. And these are, or this is the oldest part of Pamplona. This is before. This is before Romanization. Yes. In fact, this wall here, this, this little from part. This from the previous uh, village was named Iruña. Iruña. Well, this yes. is from the Basque settlement that yes. we had here. The thing is that when this uh, beautiful Roman, pre-Roman um, heritage was found here, the bishop decided to do an amazing exhibition that is called Occident, that we are not going to see it. No, Be no, careful. Not that, yes. But because there's no good connection inside, <laughs> so we cannot show it to you. But uh, we have prepared a video that it's we are editing it, and it will shortly be broadcasted in our YouTube channel. <laughs> it's all. It's going to be all about that uh, that exhibition. It's really an amazing exhibition, showing the art, the Gothic, the Romanesque in the cathedral. I like the way that they try to teach us how the civilization has changed from the Roman, Roman times, time, yes, until the 21th century, because it's the end is the 21th century. I love so that part, yes. So you have to stay tuned yes. to see uh, what we have. Okay. So <laughs> all around here, uh, we have all of these different um, tombs from the cathedral, okay, which is very special and very important because we have very important people buried in here. So we've seen the old uh, gathering room, then we have seen the bedroom, the and now yes. the dormitory. Now we have to go for lunch. Yes, so oh this is the, the most important part. They had to go for lunch. But what do you do before you have lunch? You need to uh, wash your hands. Yes. So they, come, they created this tiny little chapel okay this is the lavatory okay? this is where they would wash it their is hands great when you are walking around the cloister and you are listening the sound yes. of water yes so, well let's let's be quiet for a sec let's see if they can hear the water i think it's so beautiful yeah by the way these gates the iron that comes from these gates comes from a battle called Las Navas de Tolosa from the year 1212, okay? So, the priest, they would come over here, wash their hands before having lunch, and then yes. they would go for lunch through this door into the refractory. Before we get in, uh, here, <laughs> what we have, yes. it's, I mean, we're going for dinner, for lunch, okay? So, at the entrance, they placed one of the most important lunches or dinners in uh, yeah. at the Bible. In the Bible, we have two important uh, venues or parties, food parties. One, we have a wedding, okay? And the second one, and the most important one, it is the Last Supper. Here, one question. How many people was invited to the Last Supper? Answer. 12, plus 12 one. apostles, yes, plus, one. plus one. Holy Mary was not invited, okay? So here, what we see, if we count, we might think that we're missing people, but we are not, okay? Because we only have 11 plus one. We have 11, but okay. if you see the one in the middle, the one blessing us, it's Jesus Christ. Yes. On your right, you have a halo without a person, but if you see, in Jesus Christ's lap, that is, as I said, John, the beloved one. He's the special one. So he's a little bit hidden, but he's there. But that's 12. We need an extra one. And well, where is he? If you see under the table, there's one more person stealing the food from Jesus Christ's plate. Who is that? Judas. The Judas, the bad guy. So, El traidor. the traitor. So we have the 13. It's a really good way to represent how he... Um, he was a bad person. Yes, so. yes because he was a stolen. It was, it was a good a way to represent it. Yeah. So from here, we walk into this magnificent Gothic refractory or dining room. Okay. 
as you see, this is quite impressive. I, this is much warmer. It's very, very beautiful. Okay, it's an amazing. It's incredible. It looks more like a palace than any more other More than for monks. Yes. And imagine all the monks here eating a little bit of soup, well. perhaps a little bit of bread, and no more. Well, yeah. Uh, also, there was one more thing uh, regarding the Camino de Santiago, St. James Path. It's that here they had a tradition uh, as a good Augustine's congregation. The Augustines, to commemorate what we have just seen, the Last Supper, how many people was invited by Jesus Christ? Twelve people. So every single day of the year, the community would invite twelve people pilgrims of the Camino de Santiago to join them for lunch in here. Right? So I think that was a very beautiful thing that they did back then. Right? So it was super, super nice. So if this is the dining room, probably we need a kitchen. Yes, of course. There has to be a kitchen. So let's look probably for the kitchen. Be cooking. Not today. I hate cooking. You hate cooking? Yes, love cooking. I hate cooking. So there has to be a kitchen. And the thing is that there are only three Gothic kitchens in cathedrals in the world. In Avignon, oh. in Sintra. Sintra is a palace. It's a palace. Yes, well, it's, a it's not a cathedral, it's a and palace. The, probably one of the most important ones, it is yes. this one. At least this is the higher. This is the highest. The highest. That I think the chimney. Highest. I have been in the one in Sintra and, and I think this, that one is higher. This is an amazing kitchen. It's just. As you can see, it's a very simple square room. They have done uh, some testing in here to see the evacuation of the smoke, and it's incredible how well thought it was. So back then, when the cathedral was constructed, this door, the one that we just came through, was always closed, okay? And right there, it was the street. And through this little window, they would serve poor people or pilgrims the extra food they had. And, and the other window? This other window that now is closed, is closed is where they would serve the food for the priests. Right? So we have both of them. Solo les hacía falta un montacargas. Yeah, it was like pretty much like a yes. McDonald's drive through <laughs> or something like that. Like, yeah. Okay. I love this closer and this. Imagine I would. Reception here. Okay, and we're heading for the fourth and final stage of our cathedral, which is obviously the important one because it was the entrance to the temple, the entrance yes. to the cathedral. The thing that I love is that we are inside the cloister and we are still having the colors. Yes. Because we always we are uh, used to be the the color of the of the stones, and here we are still having the color of the clothes and everything. So it's, I like that. Let us part. get here a little closer, because here once again we have the representation of the death of Holy Mary, or the dormition of the Holy Mary, and as I was saying, one of the most amazing things about this. Uh, this arch, this decoration, is that we have the original colors. All right, so it's an amazing, amazing, amazing yeah, because we representation. Always, uh, we are used to, yeah, be, to the yes, stone color, uh, but sunnies. here we have this beautiful, beautiful multicolored. All the bishops and everybody crying for the death of it's the. It's easier Mary. to understand what they are trying to tell us if we can see the color of the faces and the clothes and everything. Yeah. I think, and. Here we have another beautiful image of our lady. She has a funny face because, in fact, we call her the pumpkin face. There's a saying that every day a lady from the market would come over here and she loved her. But, and she used to tell her a saying that is, Maria Mariaza, cara de calabaza, tú te quedas aquí que yo me voy a la plaza. Which means, Mary, the Salute, big the pumpkin the face, you stay here with God while well, I go to do my place, yes. I go to okay. the market. When the bishop heard that this lady called her pumpkin face, he was like, do never call her back again, the pumpkin face. This is that Holy Mary, she understood that it was 
are praying, not very sweet, not very educated, but very sweet. No muy religiosa, not very no religious, muy seria, but pero done with the heart. Salía de corazón, claro. So she started to cry because she, she missed it. And when the bishop saw the Holy Mary cry, and she said, okay, from now on and for everybody, you will be the pumpkin face. So and we, at that moment, she's uh, smiling. Yes. She's always smiling. She's always smiling. It's beautiful, beautiful. How about this door here? What we have, it's, well, remember that we told you when we started that we barely have any uh, leftovers of the French Revolution and the breaking of it. This is a gate that has been more damaged, damaged. not big, big time, but a little bit. Let us show you. Because all of these st statues that we have here, they they were beheaded. Yes. Okay. The thing is that they were beheaded all the way to here, because I guess this was the height of the French soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> because the rest ones... Yes, they are still having the They head. had the head. <laughs> so <laughs> the French soldiers, <laughs> they made it all the way to this height. The rest, <laughs> they were, I guess, not too tall. <laughs> but this is the only leftovers, let's say, uh, yes, of the, the French and Revolution. The, hands. the heads and yes. some of the hands. And from here, we would go into the cathedral. Let's see if it's open. Okay. Oh, did you close it? It's okay, it's okay. Oh, just No, 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 no. <laughs> no corres, no corres. No go, no go. Just want to show them that it's... Oh, we don't want to show the cathedral. <laughs> they just heard us that we're coming. The cathedral is closed. So this was the entrance to the cathedral. Okay. Because of that, it's the most beautiful it's the most door. Beautiful yes, because it's the most have. important one. Here, yes. Okay, so I think we are done. See? Yes, I think so. So, no, wow. he's trying, he's lighting <laughs> all the cathedral for us. Oh God, so embarrassing. So, uh, everybody, this is it. We're the, yes. Because we want to center today in Pamplona's Gothic cloister. cloister. Thank you so much for following us. Check our Facebook, share uh, this post if you liked it to everybody. You know that all of these tours that we do, they're to support it. So we have put a tip here uh, in the feed. So if you would like to leave us a tip, we will be super grateful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this, we will try to show the Occident's expositions in a small okay. yes, of we'll time. Do it, we'll yes, we'll do it. And we'll see you next Tuesday. We still have no clue where we're going because <laughs> The storm is still coming. So yes, see, we have a really terrible yes. uh, weather these days in Pamplona. So, okay, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful bye week. Bye. We love you. Bye bye.